everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alan and this channel is all about my awesome, amazing, interesting life here in Taiwan. And as you can see, I'm sharing center stage today with a rather big box. And that's because today the contents of this box is going to be the main feature of this video. And I actually know what's inside. The person who sent it to me sent me an email telling me exactly what to expect. So. Let's get inside. I forgot to mention the location for today's video. We are in People's Park, smack bang in the center of Taichung City. So please excuse any traffic, any extraneous, any extraneous, extraneous, any other noise that you might hear. But we're in the city. It's a Tuesday, so not too busy. But anyway, let's get into the box. Hi, Alan. These are some special snacks from my home country. The difference between Ta Taiwan style and SA style. Next time, send you the other flavors. And that is from Ian. Ian is the same guy that sent me the Lego for William. So once again, Ian, thank you so much. This is definitely the kind of thing I love people sending me. Something cultural, something I can compare to the South African snacks I tried in my recent video. Right, let's take a look at what's inside. Sun-dried mango. Hmm, I think that one's gonna be pretty pleasant, actually. Taiwan-style fat cake sister. Taiwan style fat cake sisters. Oh, that's oh that's right. That's why I'm confused. William called them fat cake sisters in the video as a uh, he got it wrong and obviously that made Ian laugh. Anyway, fat cook sisters. Oh nice, I like this. Pork jerky. Pork jerky, nice. More fat cake sisters and sun-dried guava. Now these snacks, they look pretty good to me. Get rid of that box. I can't see anything that I'm not gonna like and I guessed as much so before I came here on my way here I stopped at uh, 7-eleven and I picked up some traditional Taiwanese snacks so let's get them out uh, this one I have no idea what it is I see all of the kids eating it in school and it seems very popular maybe in the comments below anything that I'm not sure about today you can let me know this one, again, I have absolutely no idea what it is. I was looking for wasabi peas because I've never had wasabi peas. Maybe there are some wasabi peas in here. If not, what is it? Let me know in the comments below. Now, this is something that my kids in school always try to get me to eat, but I've never tried it. I can't bear the smell. It's a seaweed grass paper. I have no idea. Some kind of seaweed. And genuinely, I really don't like seaweed but some of my kids like to watch these videos, so they'll be super happy if they see me try this one. And the final one is this. I was in 7-Eleven, saw it, guessed it's a food, guessed it's a snack, it was with the other snacks, but I have absolutely no idea what it is. Shang Shang Niao, am I right? Huang Zhe Shang. Huang Zhe Shang, Shang Shang Niao. Maybe my Chinese is not good enough. Anyway, we'll give it a go, see what it's like. <laughs> That's all of the snacks. I also picked up a couple of traditional Taiwanese drinks. Hopefully I won't need them too much to wash down this food, but if there's something a little bit nasty, then first of all, we're gonna have this. Now this is super supao, shupao, and it's like a sugary energy drink. Probably the closest thing we have in England to this is Lucase. It's a perfect hangover drink, so here we replace it with supao. So although it's not new for me, it might be new for anybody watching abroad. The next drink that we picked up to try is this mixed fruits and vegetables drink. I don't mind a fruit drink, but vegetable drink absolutely never crossed my lips in 10 years. But again, often see it in 7-Eleven Family Mart, so thought we'd give it a go today just for fun. Now, if Supao is the Taiwanese equivalent of a British Lucasade, I think this next drink is the Taiwanese equivalent of a British Red Bull. Pao Li. Pao Li Ta. Pao Li Ta. Pao Tzu de Pao Ma. Often see it in 7-Eleven. We'll give it a go. So, let's get started. What's first? Should we go for something sweet? Should we go for something not so sweet? I think, first of all, I'm going to get the worst one out of the way. And that is this one. Let's give it a go. and close let you see it come out of the package Whoa, what is that what is that looks like leather maybe it's like a uh, beef skin or something uh 
It's got a jerky coating, but it doesn't look like meat. It looks like leather or plastic. Okay, here goes. The flavor is not bad, but the texture is just so weird. It's truly like eating plastic or cardboard. Okay, kids in school, you'll be getting a treat today. Oh, okay, so definitely time for a drink. Supao, the way to go. <coughs> okay, so the first one, not so nice. Let's try and find something a bit better. Let's try some sun-dried mango. Now, where I come from in England, mango is not a popular fruit, or at least it wasn't 10 years ago. So I don't often eat mango, but... It... Oh my goodness. Wow. Now that smells sweet. I am dripping sweat. Oh my goodness, this is a bad idea. Okay, so as you can imagine, sun-dried mango. Smells really sweet. A little tough to bite through, of course, with it being dry, but this is a perfect Taiwanese snack. Is it made in Taiwan? Yeah. Made in Taiwan. Perfect. All of these three, basically, basically the same product, different flavors. We'll stick with uh, pepper salt, something a bit savory after that uh, sweet mango. It smells like Cook Sisters. It smells almost the same. Definitely not got the same texture. Definitely crunchy, but... The taste and the flavor is amazing. And the taste is very similar. I think they are made from a similar product to Cook Sisters, but Cook Sisters are very soft and doughy. But Ian, so far, your products that you provided, way better than the ones I bought at 7-Eleven. Mm. Okay, nice. I will take that to school and share it with the kids, definitely. So good. Okay, so I think it's time for another drink. Let's dig into this mixed fruits and vegetables juice drink. I'm hoping that there is more fruit in this than there are vegetables. Oh my goodness. Now that is a refreshing drink. It's got carrots in it. Looks like leaves, vegetables, asparagus. Is there asparagus in there? This is a good drink, and I'm hoping it's healthy. Oh, wow. Taiwan, you really pulled it out of the bag with that one. That is good. That is really good. Uh, okay, let's try these. Let's try these special noodles that the kids rave about in school. Enak extra. I don't think these are from Taiwan. In, 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 in. Ingni? Is that Indonesia? First, open the package, then squeeze it, then eat them. Okay, let's do it. Open the package. And squeeze them. Okay. Oh, so it's just like dried noodles inside. Spicy? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're really good. What flavor? Chicken. Chicken flavor, dry noodles. I wonder if you can cook them. Can you cook these? Okay, so we are cracking through all of these snacks and drinks. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try one of these for the kids. Oh my goodness. This is a bad idea. They come on a strip like this. You peel one off, inside is a dry piece of seaweed. Oh my god. For almost 10 years I've had kids asking me to try this. I've refused, but as I thought today was my snacks and drinks video, had to include it. Kids, students, if you're watching, this is for you. almost didn't do it, it almost came back up. Everything I've eaten almost just came back up. I cannot, cannot. I love fish and I love seafood, but I just don't like fishy flavored things. That 
was. That was horrific. Getting a little bit full now, but those good foods are very good. The bad ones, pretty bad. Uh, what are we gonna do next? We've got some jerky, two types of pork jerky. No idea the difference. One is brown, one is orange. Let's go with brown. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's pretty similar looking to a, a Western style uh, American jerky. Uh, let's give it a go. Very strong flavor but a really nice texture to the meat falls apart in your mouth mm, pork jerky success uh, right uh, okay last one I bought for myself and again I feel like the ones I'm buying from 7-eleven are not as good as the ones that were sent to me oh, 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 oh. it's fish it's fishy flavor I can't do it I will throw up I have one I'm gonna have one of these little fish cookies fish flavored snacks not my cup of tea push a water tie don't be doing almost finished but before we go before we try that special pauli pauli ta there is one special bonus snack that i want to share with you and it is right here Yes, this is Taiyang Bing and it is the most it is the most famous snack to come out of Taichung. And every time you drive out of Taichung, every time as you head out of the city, you will see shops selling Taiyang Bing as souvenirs. So if you're from Taipei and you visit Taichung, then you pick up some Taiyang Bing. Now, what I want to know is while we're eating this Taiyang Bing, where do you come from? If you are watching in Taiwan, what is the famous souvenir cookie or cake that comes from your city? This is a Taiyang Bing. And again, 10 years in Taiwan, I don't think or I can't recall ever eating a Taiyang Bing. So this is gonna be my first experience of Taiyang's most popular cake, biscuit, cookie, snack. Hopefully it goes better than that seaweed. Oh my God. Wow, look at that. Wow, now this one is really good. This is like a buttery flaky, pastry many many hundreds of layers of pastry it's not too sweet usually Taiwanese cakes are very sweet but this is not too sweet just perfect and as you can see very very flaky mm. successful Taiyang Bing okay so it's almost time for me to say goodbye this video has probably gone on a little bit too long already but we still didn't try this special Oh yeah, it's Red Bull! It's Red Bull! Oh, I think I like it! Hmm, yeah, I like it! Very sweet, very sugary, but definitely has that medicinal taste that uh, a Red Bull or energy drink would have. And this is like $20 and a Red Bull is $60. I was expecting it to be very strong, almost alcohol tasting, but yeah. Paulita, Pau, Paulita, Pauli, Paulita. Yeah. Possible I will drink that again in the future. What do you think? Do you drink it where you come from? Let me know in the comments below. Right, so time to wrap up this video. Time for me to say a big, huge thanks to my team VVVIP. Don't forget, watching to the very, very end of my videos automatically qualifies you into the team VVVIP. I'm trying to get as many videos out as I can over the next couple of weeks. I've got a little bit of extra time, so I'm going to try and make as many videos as I can. Possibly something similar to this, or maybe we'll get out of the town, get out of the city, and explore some other places. What do you want to see? You are the reason that I'm here, my team VVVIP. What do you want to see? You tell me, do you want to see food? Do you want to see culture? Do you want to see more silly videos like my scooter safety video or my Taiwan beer video? You let me know and I will get out and do it. After all, you are the reason that I'm here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here while I almost threw up after that seaweed. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time in my life in Taiwan.